Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. I want to give you a tip here on how to find the first root of a cubic equation. You know, here I'm really talking to an audience where you're at school or you're doing some kind of introductory maths course for economics or something where they'll give you a cubic which are going to have real solutions, i.e. not imaginary. So supposing that's the case, you know, what you would do I think the typical method is they'll tell you to guess the first root, right? So guess uh, your first root. Root meaning that we find that x, such as this equation, is equal to 0. So that's another way of saying that is solve the equation for x. All right, so how do I find the first x? Of course, with a cubic equation, we're after three uh, roots. So uh, once I get the first one, I can get the other two by factorizing. But first I need the first one. Right, I'm going to give you a tip here which does not require guesswork because, you know, if you do guesswork, you, you might guess 0, 1, 2, 3, that's the usual way, or minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. But I want to kind of narrow it down. Which range of x's should we look at? The idea is this. For a cubic, we're going to have two turning points. Say one turning point is here. Say another turning point is here. If we can find the nature of the turning point, say that this is a maximum, and this is a minimum, and we know the value of this and this, we can kind of, interpolating in our heads, or on a graph paper, get an idea of what this range should be. So then we would just search this range, as opposed to just randomly searching from zero onwards and zero down that one, because it might not be anywhere near here. The turning points might be quite far from zero. So it's worth doing. And the method I'm going to teach you is useful anyway in terms of uh, being able to sketch. Sketch, you'll get information to sketch the uh, graph. Alright, so the idea, I want to find the turning points, the stationary points. That's the first thing. How do I do that? Look at the first derivative of this thing. And then find the values of x for which this is 0. This is a quadratic. We can use the formula using the discriminant or use completing the square. I'm supposing you're kind of familiar with that. If you're not, look at my previous videos. OK, I'm using preceding completing the square. So these steps are not too important. Okay. So looking at this, we can see that then f, the derivative is 0 at, and then just solve this thing, we should find that the x is equal to 5 over 3 plus or minus the root of 31 over 9. So that's approximately minus 0.19 and plus 5.32. Second step, determine the nature of the points. Nature of those points, turning points, are they maximum or are they minimum? To do that, we can look at the second derivative. We can see that for x is minus 0.19. The second derivative is negative, so what we have here is a max. This one, begin, the second derivative begins zero, so it's a min. What is the value actually at that point? It's approximately 23 by substituting it into the original equation. And there. So that's the vital bit of information. So let's put this on the graph. Minus 0.19, this way it's better to use graph paper, by the way, to get a, a better idea of where the, where the uh, first root is. It's 23, so it's way up there, let's say it's here, and we know it's a max, so in other words, it's going to do that. At the point of 3.52, this is where, I say, a graph paper really helps, um, uh, say it's here, 1, 2, 3.52. It's around here somewhere, and the value is minus 1.38, like that. 
and that's a min, so it's looking like that, isn't it? So, interpolating in your head, this is if when you graph paper really helps. Look at that, this terrible drawing. It should be a curve. We know we should be looking around here. So, one, two, between two, anywhere between two and this figure here, 2.52, so around three, start searching in here. So, with your calculator, plug it into fx, do f2, is it equal to zero? If it is, then x is a root. If it's not, uh, do another one, uh, f2.1, blah, 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 okay? But since uh, if this is applied kind of economics or something like that, they give you a simple number. They give you a simple number, so just try 2, 2.5, 3. And that way, you've got your root. Fantastic. So, you can see the idea of this is to find the turning points, find the nature of turning points, and that will give you the idea of which range of x value should you begin hunting to find the first root. Fantastic. Okay, end of the video. Hope that's been helpful.